Did me RP to the homie Big Poker, the legend. Oh, real legend. We got another legend, outside legend in here, man. Square business, Kevo, no, but Square really. business, media man, my motherfucking brother. No, my really. SA partner, man, it's forever love with us, bro. I always call me on some shit every time you see me. He don't care, he don't act funny. Nigga been doing this shit. Yeah. Since day one, the nigga shot one of my first promo videos. Like I said, we five, six years later still rocking. I appreciate yeah, right. that, brother. Nothing but love, but shit, you gotta let everybody know who you is, where you're from, and what you Man, got. Man, square business, Kevo, from the north. Shit, I really just say I'm from the north. I stayed in Fifth Ward and then Eggs Home. Well, Eggs Home, then Fifth Ward. Then hey, moved, okay. Moved to Spring, went to school in Spring, dug in Greens Point. So, shit, the north. What really, part of Eggs Home? Sardis Lane, right here. Between Golf Bank, what's this? Victory? Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh. First birthday. <laughs> got to. I feel like we have to. If you're from this side, you got to. Because it's like, I ain't going to say nothing going on on our side, but no outlets. Yeah. That's why we got you. Man, backstreet shit. You had made a post a while back on Facebook. You was like, thank God my mama didn't raise me on the south side, man. What's wrong with the south side, bro? See, I'm <laughs> super, super biased. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember I had went to the army, but before the army, I was so this is all I knew. Like we, I didn't have to go nowhere from Eggs on the Homestead. Everything was right here. Mm -hmm. Like everything, food, jewelry, clothes. What about clubs? You didn't venture out clubbing? Hell no, I stayed on this side. I was all up and down 1960 at okay. uh, Entice. Night moves. That was my time. Uh oh, uh oh, you jogging my memory, man. The you know good old days, man. I'm talking about 08, 09, 07. That was my heyday. Man, you know. so you picked up the camera, bro. I did a little research, Best Buy credit card. What made you say, fuck it? How the fuck you know that? That's bro, I gotta do my homework. That's crazy. Yeah, that's how it happened. So, Best Buy, what made you say, because you say you was in the studio, just behind the scenes guy, but what made yeah. you say, fuck it? I'm gonna take the initiative and go to Best Buy and invest in this shit, and here we are later, Square Business Media it's LLC. Now, what happened was we had the studio. I was working the behind the scenes, doing the scheduling or whatever. And uh, the artists, they would come in and they would ask us if we shoot videos. And you know, we didn't, so they just kept on asking for it. So uh, my, uh, the dude at the time that was the owner of the label or whatever, the studio, he he suggested the credit. I didn't know nothing about credit cards. What studio was it? At Last Productions. Oh, okay. We was, on, we was on the south side, we was on the telephone. Oh, and okay. shit, people just kept, kept on asking for videos. So shit, he was like, man, go get a credit card, I'll pay for it. I was like, shit. You didn't know nothing about shooting or none of that? Man, the crazy part, 2012, I was in the Army, like I said. I was in Alaska. I tried to shoot a movie out there. Alaska. 2012. Stop it, bro. What is like out there? Bullshit. If you're not into going outside and playing in the snow and playing in the fucking yeah, okay, woods, bullshit. Don't. Do not go out there, bro. Yeah, okay. It's not. If you into wilderness, then yeah. But if not, if you, especially if you from like the city, mm -hmm. Fuck uh, no, it ain't for you. Okay. Military, how long you served? Oh, uh, five, five, yeah, a little over five years. Five years, come I'm gone. Well, uh, why? why? We don't get into that, because I want to know why we made you jump off the porch I and decide to go into the military. I got a dumb reason, too. A dumb reason? You're going to be like, what the fuck? I'm listening. So, where was I working at? I was working at the airport. I got fired from the airport and the, uh, the recruiter kept on like bothering, you know, you need to join, you need to join. And it, you know, I wasn't trying to join that time. And uh, he had picked me up. He's from South Carolina. We riding in the slab pulled up next to us. You know, I'm just, I'm young. I'm looking out the window, looking at the car. Right. And he's like, you like that shit? I was like, yeah, bro. This is what we do in Houston. We brought a phone, you know, swing yeah. or whatever. And it clicked in his head. He was like, man, I got this car, this car, this car. I got a house here in Texas, Florida, South Carolina. You can buy all this shit if you join the army. That's all it took. I was like, I just want to buy some what swingers. Hyped up to what you thought it was going to be? But like by him saying that, because you see TV and social media and people like make it seem like the military is all bad. No, nah, it's in the hell. Now, nah. to me, the army is like what I would think college would be like. It's, mm -hmm. it's really just a big ass party. It's like a regular job. Everybody get paid at the same time. Everybody gets off at the same time and go home. 
Man, Thank you for serving up. and for us, because these motherfuckers don't appreciate it. Yeah, man. Now, side, man, how was it for you growing up out here? We hear a lot of stories, bro. It's dangerous. It's this, this, and that. For us. But for you, what it was like for you to come up on the north side? Man, now that I'm older, I, I could, like, look back at, like, a lot of shit with my fault. I was just, oh, okay. you know, being young and dumb. But I can't say I came up around the time when, uh... The harvest shit was going on, so you know we'd be with the normal people, and then the whole thing. I don't know if that's if you know, you know Westfield and all that. Uh, mm-hmm. They had killed Sherm, a football player. Oh, R.P. Sherm. R.P. Sherm. Yeah. You know, I didn't just know him personally, but for shit, sure, I knew people around him, so that was a big old thing. Mm-hmm. Going to mm-hmm. a club, uh, the spot. The spot. We used to be out there, and then the only people used to pull up, and get into it with them. That was like our time. So. That heyday, bro. That was my. How day. you think we became so cool with the New Orleans people? Because I had an artist on here. And he was like, man, when I first got down here, man, he used to, was not fucking with it. Man, I say from how I seen it, people from like Ninth Ward, they was cool. Ooh. I ain't never had a problem with no Ninth Ward people, but mm-hmm. all the other places, I don't know exactly, but. It's like them. They was the one tripping. Ninth Ward people cool. Cool. I fuck with Ninth Ward. We claim them now. It's nothing but love, bro. We let that shit go. But they, yeah. like, it was a big thing. I remember being in high school, you know what I'm saying? Us against them. And I'm like, shit, we all blacks, but shit, it's just what it was. We yeah, thought nah. they was trying to come up down here. It was them, bro. Take over shit. And- yeah, we was trying to help. <laughs> Y'all can have this and that, but they just, bro, I don't know. It was them. I feel that, man. I gotta ask, cause we always chopping it up, bro. Your thoughts on takeout passing? Take shit about that. I don't know, cause I'm from Houston, so I kind of gotta be biased. You have to. I feel like it, cause I mean, who gonna ride for the house like us? Yeah. I really think we just misunderstanding. It was an accident. From what I heard, I think it was an accident, but. I, was, I, don't I know. think it was wrong place, wrong time. I think so too. I think it's unfortunate, man. Oh yeah, definitely, because they was like a big thing in the rap community, you know. So you can't just be like f them, you know. They're not here, <laughs> right? But right. It's just sad. I feel that. You know? And we lost another North Side legend that was probably going to take us to the next level. Take it to you. Come on, bro. Like, you know how you you know people, and then when you finally like bump into them and talk to them, bro, Chuck Trill tr- treated me like we've been knowing each other for years. Big, big facts. Hell yeah, so it was just sad. Did you like, get to work with No, I never get to work with bro. We were supposed to do a video, uh, what video with uh, Miss Red, I think. And we never did it. Mm, rest in peace to Chucky e. Trill. Yeah, rest in peace, Chucky e. Trill. You from the city too. Yeah, he treated me like we knew each other, knew each other. Mm. So, is it dangerous you being behind the scenes, behind that camera? Is it dangerous for artists or do rappers just kind of do too much? A little bit of both. You really just gotta know what's going on before you go out and shoot. Knock on wood. I mean, I ain't never had no problem, but I don't. Right. right. I don't bring that. I don't put that kind of energy yeah, off, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't really believe in all that energy shit, but it's true. Yeah, but it's true though if when you, you think about when you, you really think there, about who you is even as a man, like you'd have been around the who's who's and some niggas and some real live certified steppers and it like and shit never really happened to me and like you say never say never, but I think it's just how you carry yourself, even me as a person, bro, I don't be involved in all that shit, so I don't you know. Either. That shit boring to me now. <laughs> yeah. What what are we doing this for, bro? To impress who? Yeah. So, but no, nah, I'll say this too, like uh, D100. Man, rest in peace, my boy D100. He, Alumni, man, that's crazy, man. man. He, he, he's baby. another one. See, I met him late, so I okay. met him with the rap shit. Okay. Every time I seen him, it was big hugs and, you know, like I said, I was in the army, so all the the stories about him, I never heard them stories till I came home. Mm. So, I don't I always met rappers on that side. I never met the street side. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of make that kind of lines up the situation when I go places. Damn, that's you know what I'm crazy, saying? Man. D 100, bro. All right, rest in peace, another man. One. Another one, like I say, if you just speak about, you know, the north side alone, we lost a lot here. The south side, man, lost a heavyweight Houston, fucking Texas. We lost a heavyweight Big Pokey. Man, your thoughts, man. Man, let me tell you a story about Big Pokey. R.I.P. to the lead. R.I.P. So, this is 2007. This, the, I think it was the first to second school fest. We had got some uh, backstage passes, me and my uh, partner. So, we go to the uh, school fest. He the first rapper we bumped into. And I'm like, man, Pokey, you know, let me, let me get a picture or whatever. He's like, man, I'm hungry, man. I'm finna go eat. Hold on. 
So he go upstairs and he's eating with uh, school pops or whatever. So somehow we snuck up upstairs and he done eating. He walking out the room. I'm like, man, what's up, Pokemon? Like, you done eating? I'll get a 